Doom was always meant to be played with a mouse. Don't believe me? Look at this footage from 1995. He's almost even using WASD. You still don't believe me? We'll just ask John Romero. You still don't believe me? We'll look at page 9 of the manual that came with the original retail version of Doom. Look at this text at the bottom of the page. Tip. Try using the mouse and keyboard simultaneously. And there it is. Checkmate, boomers. That's the end of that story. I'm... Hang on a sec. What does this other bit say? When you feel comfortable, try using the mouse. Comfortable with what? Keyboard only. That's right. If you simply ran Doom after install, just slapped your way through the setup program, you got the default controls. Keyboard only. Yeah, Doom might have been capable of mouse control right from the start, as developers encouraged it, but still most people, and I mean most people at the time, didn't. But why? Why wouldn't people listen to John Romero? Why wouldn't people just set their mouse up? Vertical mouse movement isn't even that bad. Didn't they know about the turn speed? Didn't they know that WASD was possible in 1993? Well, let's go back to 1993, when Doom was publicly released. A lot of PCs out there probably looked pretty similar to this. No mouse. And the operating system that most of them were running? Microsoft Disk Operating System. DOS has no GUI, and therefore you don't need a mouse to operate it. And given these factors, a significant portion of PC games out there were keyboard controls only, and even the ones that allowed for mouse play often defaulted to keyboard controls, just like Doom. Having said this, mice were starting to become common. However, here's a typical mouse of the time. It's mechanical. A rubber ball rolls around on the desk, and that turns little wheels inside the mouse to track the movement. They would frequently clog with dust, and they weren't always very accurate or sensitive and cheap ones might not even have smooth balls. Note how the mechanical keyboards are still popular, but not mechanical mice. They sucked. And then on top of that, in DOS they weren't plug and play. You had to set them up installing some drivers. Look at this guy trying to set up his mouse, while old mate over here, keyboard only, off and running. When it came to gaming, a lot of people thought these crappy mice just weren't worth the hassle. However, when it came to just simple pointing and clicking, they did the job. If only there was some sort of popular new operating system that actually had a GUI to make widespread mouse adoption worth it. Quake's timing was sort of perfect in a way. It came out just after Windows 95 had finished making the mouse a household staple that everyone knew how to use. Players now had the skills and the tools they needed to learn how to get good, with a fancy new 6 degrees of freedom to motivate them. Over the next few years, the WASD mouse control scheme won out, and we've hardly looked back. By the way, the first popular first-person shooter to use WASD in the mouse as a default control scheme? Bloody Half-Life again. Anyway, throughout all of this, Doom remained a popular game, especially thanks to its deathmatch scene. So most casual Doom players joined the ranks of the Turbo Nerds of old and started transitioning to mouse and keyboard controls, as intended. But not all Doom players. I can't speak for all of us, but many of us weren't death matches. we just played casually, and we'd already got good in single player with the keyboard and there didn't seem to be any compelling reason to change. Now, if I wanted to WASD, there was Quake and Quake 2, Half-Life, Quake 3, Unreal, I could and did play those games with a mouse and keyboard to my heart's content. But Doom was different, and in a weird way kind of special. For me, I've mostly stuck with it out of nostalgia and inertia. And I won't lie, there's a part of me that enjoys being part of a dying breed of legacy players, repping the before times that preceded a very significant transitional time in PC gaming. Anyway, I just wanted to offer some perspective on why some people still play keyboard only, and why there were so many keyboarders back in the day. Keyboard only is, and only ever has been, just a different style of play. Using it as a source of elitism is wrong. There's absolutely no wrong way to play Doom. Play it however you want. Mouse, keyboard, joystick, controller, touchscreen, bloody Momo for steering wheel, whatever. It's all about having fun. If you're interested in the links for the sources I used to make this video, check the description. There are some really cool videos and some really cool channels, so I highly recommend you go and check them out. 
Also, if you're interested in seeing some keyboard only playthroughs of Doom, check out my channel. I do keyboard only playthroughs all the time. Anyway, that's all for this video. I'll catch you next time. Peace.